everything within me. I declare your glory.
Good morning, friends. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes. 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 I know your first weekend of fasting went well. <coughs> Excuse me. I know that God is doing something immense in us because the attack was almost immediate. <laughs> anyway, I want to talk this morning and pray, uh, but very briefly, there is a scripture that talks about fasting that um, sometimes we overlook because a fasting is not what many of us think. Fasting is not always because we want an answer from God on something very personal. It's not because we want God <clears throat> to agree with us, which unfortunately is a reason why many Christians fast, because they don't like, they don't like what they're hearing or what they're seeing that God is placing before them. So they decide to fast to get another answer from God. Uh, but when we fast, I want us to see what the scripture says. So your homework over the next several days. Oh, and before I forget, tomorrow morning I will not be on, and likely on Thursday morning I will not be on also because I will be in Kingston um, tomorrow. I will be at the U.S., the United States Embassy um, to visit for um, some business reasons. And then, um, not for a visa, I don't need one, <laughs> thank God. Um, but and then I will be at the Jamaica Supreme Court um, with one of our youngsters um, that I have to make some very serious decisions about. Um, uh, that's tomorrow morning, the Jamaica Supreme Court in downtown Kingston, and then tomorrow also morning um, at the, the U.S. Embassy. And uh, then I'll have to be at the Jamaica um, Office of Companies. <laughs> so several places tomorrow. And possibly I have to be back on, on, on Thursday. I'm hoping I can get everything done on Wednesday tomorrow uh, because I really don't like to be over there very much. It's a little bit too hectic for me. Amen? But pray for us that as we go, <coughs> our ways prospered and things happen um, within good time frames uh, there so that we can get back into St. Mary as quickly as possible. Amen. Now, but this morning, so remember now, that's Wednesday and Thursday, but I will keep you posted even further. But Isaiah 58, I wanted to read it. I'm going to read a part of it today, and I will continue with it on, on Thursday, Friday, depending on what day I'm on. But I want you to read it. Take time, and if you don't understand it in the King James Version, read it in the Amplified Version. And if you don't understand it in its entirety, in the Amplified Version, read it in the Message Transliteration. If you don't understand it there, read it in the NIV. Read it in the ESV. Find a version or versions that gives you a good understanding <coughs> of what a fast really is all about. Um, it says in verse 1 of Isaiah 58, Shout aloud and do not hold back. Raise your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people their rebellion and to the descendants of Jacob their sins. Uh, it is apparent to me, and the Lord asked me this question a few days ago, what or where rather is transformation? Where is transformation truly taking place? Where is transformation happening? Because as I look around, 
I really don't see the transformation that the true life transformations um, that ought to take place. I see it in some, but for the majority of Christians that ought to be living for him and engaged with him, the unfortunate thing, I see defeat and the lack of victory. Verse 2, for day after day they seek me out. Now listen to this verse. For day after day they seek me out. They seem eager to know my ways as if they were a nation that does what is right and has not forsaken <coughs> the commands of its God. They ask me for just decisions. They pray and they ask God to do things on their behalf, to protect them, to keep them, to heal them. They ask me for just decisions and seem eager for God to come near them. Verse 3, why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen us? Uh, why have we humbled ourselves and you have not noticed yet on the day of your fast the Lord now says yet on the day of your fast you do as you please and you exploit your workers my God verse 4 and I think I will end with this for this morning your fasting ends in quarreling <clears throat> and in strife <coughs> and in striking my God and in striking each other with wicked fists you cannot fast as you do today and expect your voice to be heard on high My friends, I've been asked to join many groups and be in many camps of prayer and fasting and the Lord has prohibited me because he has said that he is not hearing them. And uh, you know, I said to you many, many weeks ago that I've gotten too old. Um, approaching 60 from one side of the mountain. <laughs> um, I've gotten too old to be diplomatic anymore. I've been around the block a few times to um, <coughs> try to be so diplomatic that I don't tell truth and I'm not speaking plainly. But I find too many deceptions around us, too many people <clears throat> trying to build their own personal kingdoms and not wanting to build you as an individual. Too many people espousing deception and not really teaching the word of God and allowing you to be strengthened not by the emotions those last only for a moment not by something that's intellectually appetizing that also only lasts for a while according to Paul's writing to, to the Corinthians, <clears throat> those things that are natural things only last for a moment. But the eternal word of God, that which is imparted to you, when you fast and you pray, and you fast and you pray because you want God, not that you want his hand to deposit something in yours, not that you want all of those things will happen, but not that you want the goods and the services. Those things will come. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you, my God. My Father, this morning, I want your people to be absolutely wonderfully blessed. Good morning, everybody. I didn't greet you. You see that I am here in Galena again, <coughs> in 
in our office in Galena. Um, I'm attempting to send out a newsletter. I've been trying to do it for the last few weeks. God has been doing tremendous things in our construction and what has been going on there. And uh, I can fast and ask him to give us money for our construction site. And over time, I don't think I've ever fasted asking him for anything like that. I don't think any of my fasts that I in recent times have ever done have ever been to ask God to do something specific like money or house or car or land. Never have I done that. But my fast has always been to seek the face of God, <clears throat> to hear his voice in a greater clarity, to understand him in a greater way, <clears throat> to draw closer to him in a greater way. Because you see, <clears throat> my fast does not really move God. It moves me. It allows my inner man to get to a place where it, 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 is, it has a greater sensitivity to God. God says, the Lord says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. I don't have to do much but open myself through fasting, through prayer, through obedience to allow him into my world, my God. My God, I like what Judy just said. Because then the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will then enter my world. <clears throat> Amen. You know, yesterday, after starting the fast on Sunday, on, on Saturday rather, and then ending it on Sunday, you know, I said to the Lord on Saturday, because I forgot about the fast, and uh, about um, maybe about 5.30, just before the fast ought to start, uh, the Spirit of God reminded me I had made, you know, I had made my nice um, soup and everything ready for my Saturday afternoon soup break. <laughs> and then the Lord said, don't you remember <coughs> your fast? And it bubbled up on the inside of me. And so when I remembered, uh, I thought these words, is there anything that is so difficult are so impossible for me to do that I would not fast. I would not enter into something as simple as this, as this for my God. I want to draw close to him. I want to open up a greater sense of his presence in my life. And you too, because many of you have joined me in this fast. Many of you have decided <clears throat> that this is a season, the month of May. You are reigniting your understanding of the covenant God that you serve. You want him to reawaken what you had. You want him to open doors to new things that you've never experienced. You want him and you want to see him in a light that has never been shed on God in your life before. You want to know him. And the Paul, when the Apostle Paul says, I want to know him. Um, the word he used, and I've shared it before, I'm sure, the word is you, is, that is used is that I don't want to know him because Paul wrote about him. I don't want to know him because Gail has mentioned him. I don't want to just know him because Nikki has mentioned him. I don't want to just know him because Marcia has preached about him. I want to know him because I have, like Sarah, I have experienced him. I want to have a divine experience. I want to have a divine encounter with God. I want to be able to get up and get around people and move in the power of His Majesty. I want to know His heartbeat. I want to feel the rhythm of His heart. I want to feel uh, the rhythm of His spirit. I want to know what He's thinking. I want to walk in revelation. I, I want to hear him in the situations that confront me. <clears throat> I want to have wisdom and understanding in the things that I am engaged, my God. I want to know him. And then Paul continues, I want to know him in the power 
of his resurrection. My God. My God, my God. Yes, God. Father, I thank you for Gail having good internet connection this morning. Amen. My God. I want to have a unique awareness that as I touch my face, it's as if I'm touching God. As I move around, as I pray, I know I am talking to God. I am experiencing God in a dramatic and in a powerful way. My Father, think about that this morning. Think about what God can do in your life this morning. Think about how powerfully He can move in your life this morning. And then in this fasting season, that there's an awareness that's brought to you. There's a love that's brought to you. There is a time that is brought to you <coughs> in the night where you pray. My God. Yes, Gail, I understand. Father, this morning we come in the name of Jesus Christ, the resurrected Lord, uh, whose I am and who I serve. Father, in the name of Jesus, Every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. My God, every knee in heaven, every knee on the earth, shall bow to this Jesus Christ, who is Lord of my life. Father, we effect, and we enforce right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, the divine plans and the divine purposes of each one of our lives. In Gail's life, if she has to go because of internet service this morning, I know she'll watch later. In Rosemary's life, in Nikki's life, Father, we effect and enforce God's divine plans and purposes over and against the plans and purposes of the satanic kingdom in our life. Every plan of the enemy, we replace it right now. Every seed of unrighteousness, we replace it right now. Every working, every demonic man, every demonic woman, every demonic act, everything in our lives that does not line up with God, the divine purpose in our life, we right now enforce, <clears throat> we superimpose the plan and the purpose of God in every aspect of our life. I may not be able to do it with a person in another country that I don't know, but those that we know, Father, we are in agreement with them that this is a season of dramatic and purposeful change. That there is a shifting <clears throat> and a coming into divine purpose in this season of fasting. My God, my God, my God, this is a new a move of God in our life. This is a greater sense of God in our life. We decree right now, Father, and we make a declaration, Lord God, that every uh, battle, no matter what that battle might be, Father, no matter whether it's an external battle, an internal battle that's going on in our mind, uh, a battle, Father God, that the enemy has begun through weapons launched against our emotion, through weapons launched against our finances, our social circle, Father, our physical body, our psychological, our, uh, our psychological sphere, our psyche, Father God, Father, even the business, the job that we are in, 
these weapons that have been formed, Lord God, none of them shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to the word of God, we decree and we declare it. The declaration that comes from our mouth is a declaration of the word of God according to 1 Samuel chapter 17 and the 47th verse, according to the 54th chapter of Isaiah, <clears throat> where it says, our words that comes out of our mouth, ah, as we speak the word of God, he watches over the word to perform them. John chapter 14 and the 30th verse, my God, and 2 Corinthians 7 verse 5, my God, and Ephesians chapter 4, where God establishes in the earth that the words out of the mouth of the believer will cause his power to manifest and through the declaration of our mouth we effect and we enforce the power of heaven against the weapons of the enemy <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. My God, today we decree it and we declare it and we know, Father, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and uh, Father, last night through a post that Nikki uh, put online, Lord God, uh, you quickened the spirit of this verse to me, or these verses, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3, 4, 5, and 6, we declare that the weapons of our warfare are mighty through God. To the pulling down of every <coughs> stronghold the enemy has attempted to establish. Father, the weapons of our warfare are not natural weapons, but they are spiritual weapons. They are mighty through God. We pull down strongholds. We cast down every thought and every imagination. Father, every high thing that itself would want to lift itself up against the knowledge of the Most High God. The knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord, my thoughts, Father, and the thoughts of my friends are subject to the plumb line, plumb line, to the sacredness, Lord God, to the holiness, Father, of the Word of God. We, this morning, have the mind of Christ. We, this morning, have the rhythm of of the heart of God. We in our actions are syncopated and we walk in a synergy, Father God, in absolute uh, symphony with the God of heaven. When he goes right, we go right. When he goes left, we go left. When he stops, we stop. When he goes forward, we go forward. Father God, this morning, when he speaks, we speak. When he is silent, we are silent. Mighty God, Holy Ghost, have your divine way in the life of each one of us in this covenant fast. Mighty God, we speak right now, Lord God, uh, that your anointing, according, Lord God, to Isaiah chapter 10 and the 27th verse, God, your anointing, your ability, your power, your might, uh, your very presence destroys every yoke of bondage. It obliterates it. It powders it. Never, ever 
to be reassembled or restored and that our soul, <clears throat> our spirit and our bodies now function according to the divine rhythm of heaven. We think like our Father. We talk like our Father. We walk like our Father. Rebosha, Medesta, Ilewa, Rebeshte, Bede, Rebosia, Dai, Reboshika. Mighty God, uh, this day and in the days of this month, Lord God, our eyes are opened to see not just natural things, but Lord God, we are opened to the very supernatural world around us. We see beyond the veil of the natural eye. Mighty God. This morning, we see beyond the veil of the natural eye and the natural man. Mighty God, this morning, our eyes see into the angelic realm. We see the mighty angels of God. We see them moving before us. We see them in our school. We see them surrounding us. We see them encamping around us. Father God, when the enemy decides to raise a standard against us, whether it be a weapon or a word, Lord God, I thank you, mighty God, that there is a power of heaven, the very fire of God that is released, Lord God, in the earth, surrounding us to make a difference. My God, my God, my God. My God, my God, my God, I have a sense of your mighty presence. I feel your reverberating spirit from the crown of my head to the very soles of my feet, every cell in my body, Father God. Ah, right now, Father, seems energized with you, mighty God. Father God, we decree this morning uh, that every parameter that you have decided to place around us, every boundary and every border, Father God, every law of the kingdom, that establishes us as sacred ground. Father, we speak right now into the atmosphere of each one of our lives and we decree that they are established to protect us and that heaven's laws, the kingdom of heaven and its laws governs all activities within our life and within the actions that we perform in our family, in our household, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you for protecting Javon. Uh, cover him, cover him, cover him, cover him, cover him, Lord God. Cover him, cover him. Cover him, cover him, cover him. I plead the blood of the Lamb over him this morning, Jesus. I thank you this morning, God. We overrule. Father, we establish, establish a spiritual veto in the atmosphere of the Spirit right now, Lord God, against every diabolical every devilish sanction that has come against us. Father, I repeat it, Lord God, according to Matthew 18, verse 18, that talks to their power of agreement. Father, we overrule every diabolical, Father, every, Father, subverting activity, an injunction and directive and mandate that has been placed to Father God oppose the plan and the purpose of God in our life, in our ministries and in the things that are before us. Lord God, we change. Father, evil and evil, Father, things for good and replacement.
replace them with the glory of God. We replace them with the might of God. We replace them, Father, with the wealth of God. We replace them with the peace of God. This morning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, for your people, let there, Father, be a shifting in the atmosphere of their lives. Father, we overrule the enemy. We veto the plans of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every diabolical decision that has been made <coughs> since they were babies, every diabolical plan that was enacted when they were babies, <coughs> every diabolical purpose that began when they were babies, mighty God, every ruling of the kingdom of darkness that has caused them, Father, to walk a walk inconsistent with the plan of God for their life, I nullify it in the name of the most high God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, over their over their sons and their daughters, over their husbands and their wives, mighty God, shelo lobo shandaraba kate didius, rebiandos imrentele fashande, reboselai, over their friends, over their families over their business associates. Right now, Lord God, over Jennifer, Lord God, over Kevin, mighty God, over Brother Rife, Lord God. Mighty God, I thank you for that business, Lord God. And all businesses represented by those that join us in the morning, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that the power of heaven nullifies the work of the enemy that has come, Lord God, to shortchange them. Father, to shut down the flow of resources and revenue into their businesses, mighty God. Into their jobs, mighty God. For Antolobosha, mighty God, mighty God. Father, this morning, we know We know this morning, Father, <clears throat> that there are uh, master spirits, Lord God. There are principalities, there are powers, and there are spirits that rule in the darkness of this world. This morning, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, over Gail and over Gail's life and her home. Father, and over all those that I may not name this morning, but those that are watching that subscribe to this ministry and are obedient to the Word of God and desirous of change in their life. Good morning. Each one this morning that is a part of of the morning prayer live family, whether this morning is their first time or this morning is a repeated engagement, mighty God, I dispossess by the apostolic power of God upon my life, I dispossess master spirits that have tried to encamp in their circumstances, to destroy them, <clears throat> to destroy their family, to destroy their vision, to destroy their purpose, mighty God. And I ask for even the very angelic presence of heaven, Michael the archangel, uh, and the angelic hosts to handle every satanic incursion every satanic contention 
every satanic striving and strife, every satanic resistance concerning the divine injunction that we have just enacted in the atmosphere of our life. We dispossess these master spirits. Ah, Reboshin, Dadarabosite, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hebron Talabahai. Kunan Dios Nedefalishanama. Good morning, Brother Rodney. Jesus. Jehovah Gibor. Jehovah Gibor. Jehovah Gibor. We call upon your revelation name this morning as the one that contends on our behalf. Contend with those that contend with us. Fight against those that fight against us. My God, Jehovah Gibor, take hold of shield and buckler this morning. My God, and stand, mighty God, for our help. Shetolobo Santa Rabahile Rebo Sianta de Vokenda de de Labo Santa Riai Jesus Jesus Father God in the mighty name of Jesus <coughs> in the mighty name of Jesus Father I subdue I take a hold of and I place a stranglehold upon the spirit of witchcraft Father, the subverting force of the spirit of sorcery over the life of someone that is asking us to pray for them. Mighty God, evil spirit, I subdue you this morning. I put a stranglehold on you this morning. And I command you to release them and let them go. <clears throat> In the mighty name of Jesus. My God, this morning, draw out your weapons, Father. Father God, draw out your weapons, your javelin and your spear, according, Lord God, to the word of God. Mighty God, clothe yourself as we clothe ourselves, Lord God, in the armaments and in the clothing of warfare this morning. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Ah, pursue those who persecute us, who pursue us to destroy us, mighty God. Let every weapon of heaven be brought, Father, to bear, and let vengeance be yours this morning, mighty God. Father God, overthrow the chariots and the horses and the riders, mighty God. This is your day. This is your victory. Let terror strike the hearts of our enemies, mighty God. <clears throat> Mighty God, let terror strike the hearts of our enemies. Mighty God, let their hearts fail within them. Father God, I have to repeat it. Let tak restainas, previtandus, filet umbro veskilai. Let terror strike every heart of those that come against us, the heart of the enemy that surrounds us. Let terror strike them this morning and let their hearts fail within them, mighty God. Father, we decree and we declare that the word of God prevails. We shall run, Father, we shall ride and we are already victorious. You are our God and you gird us with strength. You gird us with power. You gird us with might and you make our way perfect. It is you who, he, who makes our feet like hinds feet this morning, God. You give us stability and you give us strength that we are able to stand firm, Father God, and progress, Lord God, into dangerous heights, but yet we are preserved. Father, you teach our hands to war this month as we fast. Father, and as we draw near to you, as we fast and we draw near to you, Father, let your word prevail. 
Let your word prevail. Strike fear in the hearts of our enemies. Father God, and those that oppose the kingdom of heaven. Oh, let your power manifest, Lord God. As we walk down the streets, as we drive down the street, Father God, as we move in our world, I don't know how to pronounce your name, Apinai. <coughs> I, I assume, or Apinai. Uh, and others that have been asking for prayer. This morning, I decree over your life a new Acuretus uh, Ibertalas, Ferdo Igepe Fretasum Zente, a new and fresh anointing. My God, that as we walk down the road, if we are driving, if we are walking, men see the glory of God. Men see the grace of God. Mighty one, mighty one, let the angels drive with us. Let the angels walk with us. Let the angels surround us. Mighty God, let there be a tangible manifestation of the presence of heaven around us. Let it be unmistakable. <clears throat> Lord God, like the king with the three Hebrew boys looked into the fiery furnace and said he saw one like unto the Son of God that walked with the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, uh, Meshach, and Abednego. This morning, Father God, let the world look into our life and let them see ah, a greater one walking with us. Let the world look into our life and let them see the covenant God that stands uh, by us. Let them see the glory of heaven. Ye sata, that manifests around us. My God. Lord God, let the supernatural be our experience every day. 24-7. Lord God, let us think supernaturally. Let us walk supernaturally. Let us speak and declare supernaturally. Let our prayers ah, supernaturally encounter the obstacles, the Lord God, that are before us. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God supernatural encounters supernatural declarations lord god that the word of the mouths of your people change the atmosphere around them let the lame walk father because of supernatural declaration let the dumb speak because of supernatural Declaration. Let the deaf hear because of supernatural declaration. Let the blind see because of supernatural declaration. Yes, Brother Rodney. Not just in our, our reach this morning, but according uh, to Ezekiel, let us grab a hold of the altar of God uh, and, and let us not move until the power of God manifest like Jacob. We are, we don't have to ask the name. We already know the name Jesus. <laughs> the great name, Jesus, a supernatural atmosphere, a supernatural presence around us this morning. Let us know it 
for anyone who we touch this morning and any place that we go this morning. Father God, let the atmosphere be charged. Let the individual be charged. Mighty God, let it be charged with your presence. Like Jesus touched and virtue was released. Like others touched him and virtue was released. Mighty God this morning, let virtue be released through the touch. Let us walk. Let every fiber, every fingertip, every cell in our body resonate with supernatural anointing. With supernatural anointing. With supernatural power. With supernatural ekrotoboshi and virtue. This morning, God, let us reverberate. Let the very power of heaven we are sanctified vessels this morning. We are sanctified vessels this morning. Let every fiber of our being resonate with power, with anointing, with heaven's grace and with heaven's might. Mighty God, we walk, as Judy said just now, in an atmosphere of the supernatural. My God, we might be on earth and we might be making natural steps, but we are on earth in heaven's realm, mighty God. Mighty God, the kingdom of heaven has come to us and we walk in that atmosphere. Oh, we live in that atmosphere. Oh, Lord God, Jesus, here I'm I've got to go. I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go. My time is up. But this morning, my friends, remember, you know, ordinary man. Tanya, no matter what kind of formidable challenge the enemy throws at you this morning, no matter what kind of challenge you have financially, uh, anyone, not just Tanya, spiritually, no matter what kind of challenge you have, with any issue that I've mentioned in this prayer as we began earlier this morning, no matter what it is, there's a supernatural presence that has been imparted to you today that changes the atmosphere of your life. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, there is a power in your touch this morning. There is a grace in your touch this morning. There's an impartation in your touch this morning. There is a mighty God of virtue in your touch this morning. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Lord God, let your grace prevail. I'm going to play that song that I started out with this morning as I end this morning. Mighty God. And it is Jermaine. My brother. And he will be singing. You are God. Mighty God, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Mighty God, mighty God. Have a blessed day, everyone. With everything within me, yes. I declare your glory.
you have a wonderful day and we'll see you on Thursday hopefully but remember tomorrow morning pray for me I will be in court in Kingston uh, with one of our youngsters may God bless you and have a wonderful supernatural absolutely splendid day in Jesus name Amen <laughs>